essential gear for your new iPhone. This is Mac Voices. Today's edition of Mac Voices is supported by Rocket Money. Take full control of your subscriptions with Rocket Money at rocketmoney.com slash macvoices. Welcome to Mac Voices. This is the talk of the Apple community, and I'm Chuck Joyner. Folks, this is a Mac Voices Select Tech episode on essential gear for your new or old iPhone. My new iPhone 14 Pro Max is firmly in hand and all decked out with the accessories that are, for me, a requirement of a new phone, regardless of the model. If you picked up or are waiting for one of the new iPhone 14s or picked up a 13 because of the price drops, here's what I use and recommend as absolutely necessary. First, a screen protector. I know, you just spent a lot of money on your new iPhone. Apple has improved the glass on a pretty consistent basis, so many feel a screen protector is unnecessary. Maybe it is. But the only thing worse than a scratched screen is a cracked screen. A good tempered glass screen protector will help prevent both, and if it's damaged, you just peel it off and put another one on. The screen protectors I've been using for several iPhone generations are from Amfilm. There are lots of great options out there, but Amfilm has the application process down to a science. Two screen protectors are in the pack, in case you make a mistake, but it's all but impossible to make a mistake because of their installation tray method. Clean your phone, then place it in the tray where the adhesive side of the screen protector is waiting. Press down as instructed, lift out, and your phone has a new level of protection. Amfilm claims a perfect installation within 60 seconds, and the tray method lives up to that claim. Once installed, there is no difference in feel or function, and you will quickly forget it is there, unless something scratches your iPhone screen, or you drop and crack the screen protector. This is the very first thing I did when my new iPhone arrived, and you should too. This edition of Mac Voices is supported by Rocket Money. Cancel unnecessary subscriptions today with Rocket Money at rocketmoney.com slash macvoices. Do you know how much your subscriptions really cost? Most Americans think they spend around $80 a month on subscriptions when the actual total is closer to $200. That's right, you could be wasting hundreds of dollars each month on subscriptions you don't even know about. There's an app that helps take care of that for you. It's called Rocket Money, formerly known as Truebill. The Rocket Money app shows all your subscriptions in one place and cancels what you don't want for you. Rocket Money can even find subscriptions you didn't know you were paying for. You may even find out that you've been double charged for a subscription. To cancel a subscription, all you have to do is press cancel and Rocket Money takes care of the rest. Cancel unnecessary subscriptions with Rocket Money today. Go to rocketmoney.com slash macvoices. Seriously, it could save you hundreds per year. That's rocketmoney.com slash macvoices. Thanks to Rocket Money for supporting Mac Voices. A case. Many of you are not fans of a case, and I get it. The iPhone is gorgeous all by itself, and you spent hours agonizing over which color you were going to get. But a good case can add drop protection, a surface for a better grip, and maybe an extra feature such as a kickstand or a lanyard loop. I have a few specific requirements for a good case in no particular order. The first is that it's MagSafe. Even if you don't use it now, that feature doesn't cost you that much more, and it might prevent you from having to upgrade the case in the future. The second is because of the way the lenses protrude from the new iPhones. I want a lip around the camera bump so that when I lay my phone down flat on its back, it isn't laying on the lenses. Some companies offer lens protectors, but I'm comfortable with just having the lip to protect those lenses. Besides, I don't want anything interfering with the quality of the iPhone cameras. The third requirement is that the case goes in and comes out of my pocket easily. I've had a couple where the material didn't have a hard finish and would stick to the inside of my pocket. That becomes annoying after scrambling to answer the second phone call. The fourth is that, that it is easy to grip from both the material and the shape of the case on the sides. The fifth is that the case provides a measure of protection to my very expensive iPhone. I don't need a rugged case, 
but it's nice to have a little extra protection for that inevitable drop to a hard surface. Because not all case manufacturers have a case out on day one that you like, you might have to either wait or buy a temporary case. Fortunately, Spigen, and I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that correctly, S-P-I-G-E-N, always seems to have their tough armor case out in plenty of time for me to have it ready when my new iPhone arrives. The color options are very limited, but I always buy black or gray anyway. It meets all my requirements and has a built-in kickstand to boot. The folks at Catalyst sent me two of their cases, the Crux case and the Influence case. The Influence case would be a great choice for me, except that it is MagSafe, so that disqualified it. The Crux case is MagSafe and boasts extra protection on the corners, which is where your iPhone is most likely to land if dropped. Both support a lanyard, and Catalyst even sells matching lanyards in multiple colors. Both are great cases depending on your personal requirements or needs. Portable power. The iPhones have terrific battery life, but there are still circumstances where you might find yourself running low on juice. I've been using the MyCharge 6000 milliamp MagLock battery for a couple years now and love it for the super strong magnetic lock. I've also been trying out the new compact dual port power bank from Skosh. It stores 10,000 milliamp hours of power, charges by USB-A, and has a USB-C power delivery port that delivers 20 watts of power. Its small size means that it will find a place in my travel gear. Speaking of power and travel, you also need to check out the Skosh PowerVolt Travel 20 combination wall and car charger. With an integrated power port connection for the car and fold-down prongs for a wall outlet and a 20-watt power delivery port, this is another device that will live in my travel bag because it's so versatile and so compact. If you outfit your iPhone, new or old, with these options, you will have some extra scratch protection, extra drop protection, and power on the go, whether you're walking, driving, in the hotel room, or someone else's office. That should keep you online, talking, texting, or surfing, no matter what. Do you have gear that you would consider essential for your iPhone? I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. Drop me an email at chuck at macvoices.com and give me the details. That's the Mac Voices Select Tech for your new or old iPhone. I'll be back with more soon. Until then, and as always, thanks for watching. Visit macvoices.com for show notes and to connect with Chuck on social media. Get involved in our Facebook group or like our Facebook page and get more out of your Apple tech with Mac Voices Magazine, free on Flipboard and on the web. And if you find value in it all, consider supporting us through either our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash macvoices or by making a one-time donation via the PayPal link on our front page and in the show notes of each episode. You will join these fine people who help bring you Mac Voices. Advertising handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at cashfly.com.